long was Jonathan your patient? We worked together for nearly a year. Jonathan has given you informed consent to discuss him as your patient on this documentary. Why do you think that is? Jonathan is a very intriguing person. Deeply introverted, painfully obsessed. I think he's given informed consent mostly because of his ego. He sees a chance to tell his story. Then we're doing this. We need to spread the word. And did he tell you his story in much detail? Do you mean, did he tell me about the aliens? Yes. Of course he did. And did you believe him? Well, let me put it to you this way. I've never seen an alien myself. Is it possible that extraterrestrial life exists in the universe? Of course. I think it's very likely that it does. This is yours and... Has John seen an alien? Has he really been abducted? That I cannot know. Just as I cannot know anything with absolute certainty, you could very well be a figment of my imagination. You certainly don't seem to be, but you could. So all I have to go by is what seems to make the most sense to me. They're taking it for John's obsession is an addiction. When you have an addiction, you form a reality in your mind where that addiction, uh, cigarettes, coffee, sex, drugs, uh, has a significant meaning that goes beyond the momentary relief that it offers. The addiction provides meaning to one's very existence to the point where not indulging in it causes an existential crisis of sorts. His belief in this narrative, this idea that he was abducted and that his wife was abducted, without it, well, I'm not sure I'd want to see what would happen to John or to those around him if he were forced to know the truth. You think he's dangerous? I think that's obvious. I'm afraid he'll never recover. I think I'm done talking now. <laughs>